Let's talk about my man, Tommy, and what he's going to be doing in the show. But before we do that, ladies and gentlemen, for those of you that super chat me, I've got some brand new, fresh, old school videos to show uh -huh. you guys when you send me a super chat or when you send me a cash app. But for now, let's take a look at why we love and also hate that man known as Tommy. Yo, what's up? We're canceling Christmas. Shut it all down now. Mm. Mm hmm. So y'all know that Christmas. man is famous for canceling Christmas. So this is what's going on with the show. For those of you that didn't know, Stars has ordered power. It was going to be number five, but they're moving it to number four. Tommy show force. And they mm. ordered 10 episodes to air in 2020. Joseph Secor, the actor that plays Tommy, said he's overjoyed. He's thrilled. But the thing that a lot of us want to know is, why did they decide to go ahead and move that one up first? Do you guys think it's possibly because of all the backlash that they have been getting because Ghost is dead and they are a little worried about Michael Rainey's show? Then they're going to do the Young Canaan and all the Young Brothers show which might have preempted mm. them to moving this one up. I think they also want to try to capture and keep people hype because they know that people had a fond affair with Tommy just as much as they did with Ghost. And we're curious to see how his dynamic is going to play out, leaving New York, going to California. Larry, are you excited to hear that power, force, is going to go from number five to number four? Yeah, I'm looking forward to it, man. I've been looking forward to the to Tommy's joint more than I've been looking forward to Tariq's. Although I will say, having watched some of these trailers for uh for the show with Tariq coming up, I'm kind of hyped about it. It looks like it's gonna be good. I'm not wait, the big fan of Tariq. Wait, wait a minute, wait a minute. Let's put some churching in it. <laughs> Last week on this very show, when I was telling you this. You was all in my grill, Tom. So, hell no, I ain't watching. I'm tired of them portraying black men as this and black men as that. And I said, why not? I said to no, you, no, no. Larry, I was talking about the shy for that one. I was talking about the shy for that one. I was saying, I don't think I'm going to watch the shy anymore. I think I'm done with that. But I, I, power, I, I'm going to have I'm to go back and check the it. tape because I could have sworn you didn't want to see Tariq be a bad guy when I told you they could write it where he starts out a bad guy. And and winds up getting in business, but I'll go back. I'll let you. I might, finish I might have said something to that effect. I might have said mm -hmm. something to that effect. I'm not gonna. I'm not gonna say you're wrong if that's what you. If that's what you remember, because I it sounds like something I might have said. Yeah. So mm -hmm. you just but, mad. You just mad. Ramona ain't gonna be in the show. That's your problem. She might be. We don't know what Ramona's gonna do. Yeah, I got a fly in the house. Man. Yeah, but, yeah, man. Because you know you were telling a story. <laughs> that fly's no. attacking you. Did I get it? Ha <laughs> ha, punk bitch, you're dead. All right, I'll be right back. I got to go dispose of this fly. Okay. I so while, while, while Larry is handling the fly that goes only into people's house who tell stories, let's finish talking about Tommy. For me too, ladies and gentlemen, this was my most anticipated story because Tommy is so chaotic. He's so diabolical. He's a wild card. It wouldn't have mattered if you would have sent him to the Ozark. Know, this is how I clean up insects in my house. What the hell? So, my man, suck my him man up. Got of, He's gone. Got one of them housewife vacuum. What the fuck? Oh, my Lord, have mercy. See, that's why you don't get rid of a brother like that. With a pink vacuum, he's sucking up more than dust, ladies and gentlemen. But back to Tommy. You could have took Tommy. You could have put his ass in Aiden, North Carolina, and everybody would still want to watch the show because you know where Tommy goes, drama goes too. And so now it's just a simple matter of who are they going to put as a supporting cast around Tommy? My best guess is they've got to give him 2-Bit because 2-Bit was a rising star on the show, a fan favorite. They've got to give him him. And with some of the cartels that are going to be around the California area, it's easy to see how this story is probably going to be as big of a hit as it was for the regular power show. But you know, Tommy's going to have to find him a new running mate. 
He's going to have to find a homeboy. And will they make that homeboy too bit, or will they have him meet somebody he can trust and love in California? Larry, finish speaking on Tommy. Force, power, number four. Man, I'm looking forward to seeing what happens with Tommy. I think what happened, I think what, what's gonna what we're gonna see is is that Ramona's gonna probably take a client out on the West Coast that's running maybe for like the mayor of Los Angeles or the governor or something like that. She's gonna take a political job out there, run into Tommy, and they're gonna end up commiserating over ghosts and whatnot. And the next thing you know, boom, bam, bing, they're all up in it. Ramona's gonna be his. Ramona's going to be his uh, his number one chick on the side running stuff. She's going to have all the political connects that's going to work out with him. Tommy's going to have the street connect, and they're going to create a super powerhouse that's going to go in there. They're not going to be together like that. I don't think they're going to be together together, but I think they're going to hook up and create like a, a crazy super mastermind political drug organization that's going to take over the entire West Coast. You think Tom Tommy's organization – in conjunction with Ramona is going to do that? Yep, because Ramona's got all the political connects. So every time somebody gets ready to try and do something, they're going to call in a favor. Someone else, some, some cartel dude is going to get arrested. Or whenever Tommy gets ready to get looked at, they're going to get steered the opposite direction. Tommy's going to be golden. See, ladies and gentlemen, I've been able to get him over the Killmonger conspiracy. But for whatever the reason, I can't get him off Ramona's forehead. For whatever the reason. Oh, man. My big homie, Buzz, has sent us a super chat. So that means he gets an old school video clip. It's just a matter of which one do we want to give him. And because I know how Buzz gets down, I'll give him this one. This is for you, Big Buzz. Friend of the show. Contributor to the show, always super chatting. Am I the meanest? Sure enough. Am I the prettiest? Sure enough. Am I the baddest mofo low down around this town? Sure enough. Well, who am I? Sure enough. Who am I? Sure enough. I can't hear you. Sure enough. Shogun of Harlem. Yes! That's right. Buzz is my shogun. I appreciate you, homie. For a minute there, my man was about to start looking like Cat Williams. But man, but did you see that? Did you see that um <laughs> that photo when when Dion Cole dressed up as a uh, yes, showed man. up for, uh, yes, for Halloween? Man. I saw it, man. I was like, damn, that's his brother, man. I thought it was him. I thought that was showed up. <laughs> shogun of Harlem. <laughs> oh my goodness. So Larry, let's let's finish up on the Tommy thing. So this is your right. most anticipated show. You really want to see it. What direction do you hope they go in Tommy's show? Because Tommy is very chaotic. I mean, he's a complex character. Where do you really want to see them go? And don't say Ramona's name again. I mean, besides Ramona, <laughs> you know I had to do it, man. But, you know, what I would really like to see is because they're going to be on the West Coast, I hope they bring more of our Hispanic brothers and sisters in on this. And because it isn't – and, you know, I don't know if they're going to be based in L.A. or or the Bay Area or, or San Diego or wherever, but, I mean, all throughout California there's a gang of Mexican folks out there and a gang of people from South America, Central America. So I'm hoping they bring more of our Hispanic folks in there along with the black folks in there. So it's – so it's uh. So that the show can get a broader audience and, you know, maybe even be a bigger, a bigger hit than it was with power. So because power had a lot of focus on black folks and white folks and they brought in some cartel people, but they were sort of a side story in effect. I hope that they can integrate them more as 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 main characters. So, huh? Angela, she's Hispanic. She wasn't a side story. Angela was black. A Angela was not black. Angela was Puerto Rican. Puerto Rican. Yeah. Okay. Puerto Ricans are black. Okay, so anyone who's a minority, they're black, is what you're saying. Nah, but but Puerto Ricans are black. Dominicans black. Okay, I'm I, I, I'm Cuban fine with black. that. I'm fine with that. But some Hispanics want to be considered black too. You cool with that? Well, I mean they. Uh huh. I mean so. I mean it depends uh -huh. on where they are. I mean if you're from you know uh -huh. if you're from Argentina, nah, you're not black. Okay. But, you know if you're well, Puerto Rican, you're black. Argentina is South American. Argentina is South America. I know. That's what I'm saying. 
but they they speak Spanish. They consider themselves Hispanic. So Por you know, Puerto Ricans speak Spanish. I know, but Puerto Ricans are also also from African descent. Puerto okay. Ricans are black. That's why Puerto Ricans can use the N word. Oh, okay. See, ladies and gentlemen, boy, <laughs> it's never a dull, it's never a dull moment on this show. Having said all that, gobbledygook, we're excited for power. And we wish this was the next one. Hell, they could have pushed Tariq back and moved this one up if you want my personal opinion. But I digress. Yeah. I, I digress, you know. But but I, I kind of hope that I kind of hope that we get to see an appearance or two of Tommy in his show. I'm hoping maybe right. Tariq finds himself in some need of assistance, whether it's whether it's getting himself out of trouble or needs some advice. Somehow I'm hoping we get to see a Tommy appearance. Yeah, yeah, that that would do it justice. So 